Good morning my friends. Welcome back. I'm Dan and this is Plant Abundance on YouTube. So I'm out in the garden this morning getting ready to harvest some breakfast. I'm going to be whipping up a smoothie so I brought my carafe to my blender. I'm going to harvest a few things to store it right in the blender and head inside and make a smoothie. I want to bring you guys along today because I've got one plant in particular that I want to feature in today's video that I feel is one of the best health and longevity plants out there in the market today that you can easily grow at home. It may even be the easiest plant that you could possibly grow. So let's go harvest a few things and I'll share with you what that plant is. So I'm going to be putting together a green smoothie today which means I need to harvest some green leaf vegetables to throw in here. And you know me, I've got quite a few different perennial greens growing back here. This one in particular is a seedling that volunteered itself. It came from the mother plant that's growing behind there. And it's got some really nice, healthy looking leaves. Really pleased with this plant. It's doing very well, especially for growing in the summer, being a green vegetable, still thriving. I have not watered this plant in, I don't know, maybe two months or so. And it's just doing great. So I picked three leaves, and what I'm gonna do is just destem them. Toss the stems as mulch in the garden. That'll just make everything blend up a little nicer, less uh, fiber. There's going to be plenty in this drink. What do we have here? Always magic to be seen in the garden. Bumblebees are one of the best squash pollinators I've ever seen. They're constantly working in the morning. And over here, we've got some aronia berry shrubs. Aronia berries are an antioxidant powerhouse, three times that of blueberries. So we're going to take a little handful of these guys, get a few more here. I absolutely love throwing the aronia berries into my smoothies. Not only does it add flavor, but it brightens up the whole drink, turns it bright purple, and just adds that powerhouse nutrition and antioxidants into the drink. Check out the beautiful pomegranates growing over here. This is the wonderful variety. Getting close. I can't wait. So the third and final ingredient we'll be harvesting from the garden that's going to go into today's smoothie is none other than the aloe vera plant. And that's the plant I told you in the beginning of the video that I wanted to feature and talk a bit more about because for one, it's so easy to grow. Really, really easy. Now I've got a patch growing in the front yard that I've only watered one time this year throughout our hot Northern California summer. I mean, the ground's cracking, it's so dry, and this plant just continues to thrive. In fact, it's actually putting out little baby plants known as pups that I need to transplant. So I'm going to start putting a patch back here in the food forest. But, you know, many folks are familiar with the fact that aloe vera is really good to use externally, whether you're using it just to soften your skin or to treat a sunburn. But taken internally, the gel found in the leaf is actually really, really good for you. It soothes the digestive tract. It has antibacterial properties. It's high in antioxidants, vitamin C, and really it's kind of flavorless. So it can go in just about any type of a smoothie that you want to make. So without further ado, let's go over to the aloe vera plants, harvest a leaf, and I'll show you how to get the gel out. Then we'll whip out a smoothie. So check it out, guys. These aloe vera plants have just been growing all by themselves. This one actually went to flower this year. And you see here at the base, all these little baby plants coming up. They're easily transplanted. In fact, these four plants that are growing here, or five plants actually, were transplanted from, I had a single plant in the backyard. It gave off pups. I put them out here. This is what I've got now. Now I need to transplant some of the pups back into the food forest. But we're just gonna simply harvest one of the larger leaves. Look at that beautiful gel in there. All right, so we got our fresh cut aloe vera here. But before we harvest the gel for our smoothie, what we need to do is actually take the aloe vera leaf and place it cut side down into a jar or a bowl and allow what's known as aloein 
to seep out of the aloe vera. This is a yellow, sappy, mucilaginous liquid, which can upset your stomach. It can work as a laxative. You definitely don't want to consume that. So if you're taking this internally, you want to go through this step. We just need to wait about 10 or 15 minutes. You'll see the sap, it's a yellowish color come out of here. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then we'll go ahead and harvest the gel. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and we're ready to go ahead and harvest the gel now. And let me just show you what came out. And that's the aloin. It's not a lot, but you definitely don't want to consume that. And because there's probably still a little bit of that aloin on the edge there, you can just wipe that off. And you see there's some yellow here. So we start off. We'll just cut a section to make it easier to work on. Now I'm going to remove these spines here first. It's going to make it easier to fillet both sides of the skin and it's going to take that sharp edge off. So it's really helpful if you have a sharp, sharp knife to do this. And take your time. Because if you mess up on this, it really becomes kind of a mess. And the smaller the square, the easier it is to work on. So we'll just work on this piece right here. All right, so it's always best to cut away from yourself. And we'll examine it again. And there's the gel. I see a couple little bits of green on there. And there you have it. There's a nice piece of gel. And again, just look over it really well. Make sure there's no green bits left on there. And this is ready to go. Now all this slimy stuff on your hands, just wipe it on yourself. It's really good for the skin. Also these leftover pieces of skin have some gel on there. And just wipe that on your face. Your neck, your arms. That's gone now. And it might seem sticky at first, but it's going to soak right in, make your skin nice and soft. And these skinnier little pieces, it's not really worth it to try to fillet them. But what is nice is you can cut these into little squares, and you can pop these even in the freezer if you want, or the fridge if you're going to use it within you know a week or two. And you can take these squares and separate them just by hand like that, and just rub the gel on yourself in the morning. Like I said, if you put these in the freezer, then you've got some herbal medicine in case there's a burn or something that you need to treat. And another cool thing you can do if you're harvesting a lot of aloe vera is to take that gel and blend it up. And then you can actually pour that into something like an ice tray, put it in the freezer, make little aloe vera cubes that are ready on demand whenever you want to use them in a smoothie. Another wonderful use for the gel if you're a gardener is to turn it into a rooting hormone where you can dip some of your plants if you're doing some cloning you're taking cuttings you can dip it into the aloe vera before you plant it and that's going to help those roots to expand and grow a lot faster and healthier i've made a video in the past sharing with you how i go about doing that so if you're interested i'll drop a link below this video in the description box so here's a single serving size of aloe vera that we just harvested for our smoothie today all right so we can just throw that aloe vera in with the greens and the aronia berry and i'm also going to be throwing in there about two tablespoons of chia seed and nine pitted dates. And three frozen bananas. I'm going to add in some purified water. This is distilled water that I brew at home using my Mega Home water distiller. Highly recommend that unit. I've been using it for years now. It's a workhorse. Ends up costing me 35 cents a gallon to make pure water at home. 
And if you want to learn more about the water distiller that I use, I'll drop some links below so you can check that out. Now before we get to blending, I just want to mention that all the ingredients in here are so healthy, full of fiber, full of minerals, full of amino acids. This is a complete meal. This is a great way to start the day, especially if you can grow any of these ingredients yourself at home. Then you're going to get the fresh and the best that there is. Everything in here is organic, chemical free. So with that, let's get to blending. And here's a little trick. Sometimes I just don't want to grab the lid or dirty it up. So I'll just take a paper towel if I've got one on hand. Life in a glass. Here's to your health, everybody. Cheers. Already knew it was going to be good. It's delicious. Remember to chew your smoothies. It helps to secrete enzymes. It helps to digest the smoothie. Man, that is so good. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all having a great day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.